Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of partial differential equation from CSIR net November 2020. The question is from part C. So without a delay, let's start. Question is, consider these statements. Number one, curly square z by curly x square plus one minus signum of y curly square z by curly y square plus two into curly square z by curly x curly y equal to zero. Two x into curly square z by curly x square plus y into curly square z by curly y square equal to zero. Then which of the following are correct? Option A. One is elliptic if y is less than zero and parabolic if y is greater than zero. Option B. One is hyperbolic if y is greater than zero and elliptic if y is less than zero. Option C. Two is elliptic in second and fourth quadrant. And hyperbolic in first and third quadrant. Option D, two is hyperbolic in second and fourth quadrant, and elliptic in first and third quadrant. It is essential to learn the following result in order to solve the question. Result. Consider second order linear partial differential equation a u x x plus b u x y plus c u y y plus d u x. Plus e u y plus f u equal to g, where a b c d e f and g are in general function of independent variables x y and constant. We can classify second order linear partial differential equation with the help of sine of b square minus 4 a c. That is, b square minus 4 a c greater than zero, then equation is hyperbolic. If it is equal to zero, then equation is parabolic. Less than zero, then equation is elliptic. Given first statement is curly square z by curly x square plus one minus signum of y into curly square z by curly y square plus two into curly square z by curly x curly y equal to zero. Here a equal to one, b equal to two, and c equal to one minus signum of y. Now b square minus four ac equal to four minus four into one minus signum of y. Which is equal to four into signum of y, which is greater than zero if y is greater than zero, and less than zero if y is less than zero. Implies b square minus four ac is greater than zero if y is greater than zero. Implies statement one is hyperbolic for y is greater than zero, and b square minus four ac is less than zero if y is less than zero. Implies statement one is elliptic for y less than zero. Therefore, option B is correct. Given second statement is x into curly square z by curly x square plus y into curly square z by curly y square equal to zero. Here, a equal to x, b equal to zero, and c equal to y. Now, b square minus 4ac is equal to zero minus 4xy, which is equal to minus 4xy. This is greater than zero if x and y lies in second and fourth quadrant, and less than zero if x and y is lie in first and third quadrant. Implies b square minus 4ac is greater than zero if x and y lies in second and fourth quadrant. Implies statement two is hyperbolic when x comma y lies in second and fourth quadrant. B square minus 4ac less than zero if x comma y lies in first and third quadrant. implies statement 2 is elliptic when x comma y lies in first and third quadrant therefore option d is correct hence options b and d are correct thank you very much for watching my video if you like the content please do like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query comment me thank you very much